quick disclaimer, the techniques shown in this video are for educational purposes only. Performing these actions in public or without authorization is illegal. This is a simplified demonstration. For in-depth details about this, please refer to the article link in the description. Use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Hello and never wondered if you can perform some serious Wi-Fi pen testing with a device that is the same size as my thumb. <laughs> well, today, we're going to find out because we'll be exploring the Wi-Fi capabilities of the M5 Stick C Plus 2. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Using the Bruce firmware. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's start the attacks that I will be demonstrating right now is under Wi-Fi. So in this video, those are the things that we will be doing, Wi-Fi attacks, and there are several things that you can do. So the first one would be targeted attacks. What it will do is it will scan for available access point and you can choose one and you can do several things to it. Okay, so let's click. Right now it's scanning. And like any other demos that I do, I will be just doing it on my personal Wi-Fi connection, so I'll be choosing that. First is information. I'm not going to show that, but the second one is the odd. Okay, so here, as you can see, I am connected to my Wi-Fi, and I'm just going to click the odd. And as you can see, as soon as I click that, it has disconnected from that Wi-Fi access point. Now, the next one I'll be showing is Clone Portal. Okay, so what it will do is, so let's click it. And if I'm using the card footer, there's an SD card. You can choose some of the evil portals for it. But for this one, since I don't have an SD card attached to it, let's just click default. And what it will do, the same demo that I have with the evil portal is that it will copy the name of the SSID that I've choose, the one that we targeted, and it will show it here, a copy of it. And as you can see, you can now have you now have those two Wi-Fi access point. And we can just click here and it was asking you to sign in. And now this is the evil portal that we have so if i put a credential here at test.com and this is subscribe please subscribe to the channel and i click next okay so that's the evil portal and here you can see there the captured credential better attack is combining those two a do and a clone portal. So what it does is a vulnerability of some or most of the devices is that it remembers the Wi-Fi that they have connected to. The problem is there's no really unique ID for it. It's only the SSID name. So if you de -auth a device, it will try to reconnect to an SSID with the same name and it may reconnect to the evil portal that this has created so that is the attack so let's check it out here okay, let me click next next starting and let's see so as you can see it has de authored it and it is having problems connecting to it and because it is having a problem connecting to it if I don't have that other Wi-Fi there, it will be connecting to the evil portal that has been created here, like this. Okay, so, and then you, it will think you need to sign in, and it's the same evil portal attack again. So that is very, very handy. Now, the next one I would like to show you is the attack called beacon attack. Now, beacon attacks, let's see has several things. It can show you different types of AP. And as you can see, it has funny SSID. I think I, I have demonstrated the recall role 
random SSI ni and custom SSI ni. So, for this demonstration, let's use the funny SSI ni and see what we see on the list of Wi-Fi. So, now it is spanning, spamming. So, let's just wait. And there should be some funny access point that we'll be seeing here in a while okay so as you can see dora the explorer drive by wi-fi drive it like it's hotspot fbi surveillance and lastly would be the the odd flood so i won't be demonstrating it because there are other wi-fi access point that the device is seeing but the thing is, with the DOT of attack, like the one that we did with the targeted one, it will go one by one for each of the Wi-Fi access point that it sees, and it will disconnect all of the devices in there. So, don't use this one in public. It may not be illegal, but it is something that is not ethical. And there you have it. We have covered some of the basics today, but there's still so much more to explore with the M5 Stick C Plus 2 and the Bruce firmware. And what other functionalities would you like to see? So let me know in the comments below and I'll be considering them in future videos. And if you are interested in other hacking videos, please check out my channel, Hackista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.